Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This is going to be another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to make TikTok videos through Vegas Pro 17. Now, before you start hating on me for TikTok, I've honestly been asked a ton of how to do this and how to render a proper video format for a TikTok video through Vegas Pro 17. So here it is. Now, I did join in on the hype. If you want to go follow me on TikTok, I did make one a couple days ago. I don't know how much I'll be posting on there, but I just use it for fun. If you want to go follow me, that'd be great. So, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. So we're going to go up to file, new, and this little window will pop up here. And I have already made a custom TikTok project. So I'm going to click on that one, but obviously you won't have this yet. So what I would recommend doing is just copy everything that you see that's on screen here. And then once you have it done, rename the template to whatever you want. I'd recommend TikTok and then hit the little floppy disk slash save template button. The major thing you want for this is the width to be 1080 and the height to be 1920 so it's literally the exact opposite of a normal 1080p resolution and then you want your pixel aspect ratio to be 1.0 square and your frame rate to be 60 because most phones nowadays record at 60 frames per second and i'm more than certain most of your video clips are going to be from your cell phone the rest you can pretty much leave the same except make sure your motion blur type is on gaussian and your resample mode is on disable resample and then you can say where you prefer to be it saved and all that, and then start all projects with these settings. If you're only gonna be using Vegas Pro for TikTok videos, I'd recommend this. Otherwise, leave it unchecked and then hit okay. As you can see now, your preview window looks kind of like a phone, right? Like this will be your screen on your phone. So the next thing you wanna do is import your media. So we're gonna go to import media. I already have a clip here that I'm gonna make for this video just as an example. We're gonna drag it down here. And this is a clip from my live stream. Now, one thing you may notice is that there's a ton of black on both the top and bottom. And this will happen if you have a landscape or a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video that you're trying to upload to TikTok. So the you could probably skip this part if you've already recorded your video clips with your regular 9 by 16 aspect ratio. But for this part, this is going to be just for the people who want to convert a 16 by 9 to a 9 by 16. So there's two different ways to do this. One way is to leave it the way it is, but then have something in the background. Like usually what I do is I just zoom in with the actual video and then blur it and put that in the background. A lot of people, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. A lot of people do this. And the other way to do it is just to zoom in essentially on your video clip, but obviously a lot of it's gonna get cut out by doing that. So this is the first technique and what's what I honestly recommend the most. So the first thing we're gonna do is go down to your video track and right click and hit insert video track. You'll see a new one will pop up right above your original. And then we're going to drag and drop that exact same file onto that top one. If we actually delete the new audio track that appeared because we don't need two different audio tracks, and we're going to drag that right on top of the other one. Now, the main thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the bottom video track, and we're going to go to the more section where there are the three little lines over here, and then go to track motion. This little window will pop up. Sometimes it's the right size for me. It's really like small. So I'm going to click and drag the corner out to make it bigger. So I can see what I'm doing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the corner here. I'm going to stretch it out so that this will fill up the entire screen. And obviously it does not have to be perfect. So something like that, right? And then what you want to make sure is that there's not two different keyframes here. If there is for some reason, just right click the original one, delete it, and then drag the new one to the front. So then the whole thing is the same. It doesn't change. So this is what it looks like right now, and obviously it's not going to look good, but here we go. So as you can see, we have the main clip, and then we, it's jarring because we have the stretched out other clip in the background. Now what we're going to do is actually blur the background to make it look a little bit more unique and just overall better. So go up to your video effects tab, and we're going to go down to Gaussian Blur. You can also use any blurring effect through Vegas Pro. You don't really need to use Gaussian Blur, but this is the best looking one in my opinion. And let's do Extreme Blur and see what that looks like. And do, make sure you're doing it on the bottom clip. You're dragging and dropping it on the bottom. And then as you can see, it's a little bit too much. So we're going to just drag these down until you have a pretty good look at what you want. So maybe like that. Let's see what that looks like. And that, that looks pretty damn good. So this is essentially what you'd be looking for if you were making a TikTok and you wanted to keep it the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but without having all the black up and down because it just, you know, doesn't look professional. This looks a lot better in general. So that's essentially how you do that. 
And then, like I said, the other way to do this is just to stretch out or essentially zoom into your clip to fill up the whole area. Again, I would not recommend this because you're going to cut out 90% of your clip, basically. But it's the same exact concept. So instead of adding a second one behind it, we can actually just delete this entire track so you don't need it. You're going to keep it just the way you have it, but you're going to go to the more section again on your video track. You're going to go down to track motion once again. Once this window pops up, now we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to click on the lock aspect ratio button so that when you start stretching it, it's not going to make it all wonky looking. And you're just going to zoom in, drag it down, zoom in, drag it down zoom in and then you can put it wherever you want i guess wherever would look the best so essentially that that's what it would look like and then once you press play this is what we got so obviously it's it cut out 90 percent of your video i wouldn't recommend this but if you ever i guess in a dire situation you want to fill up the whole display for a tiktok that's how you do it now Let's say you're completely done, you got all your editing done, and you want to render it to be the correct resolution as well as the right aspect ratio because we're not done yet. So we're going to go up to File, Render As. This little window will pop up here as your Render As. Now, I've already got some custom-made templates, but I'm going to show you how to start from scratch. So I'm going to go to Filter, I'm going to turn Show Favorites Only. I'm going to turn that off. And now, what you want to use is the Magix AVC slash AAC MP4 format. This is the best format by far for videos and quality. So you click on that and you're going to get all of these options. Now, I recommend just going with 1080p 60 frames per second. There's no reason to do a 4K download or a 4K render, I should say. I guess unless you're rendering or you record it in 4K. But for most people, you're going to want an Internet HD 1080p. And let's do the 59.94 frames per second. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend the NVIDIA NVENC one. If you do not or you don't see this, just do the regular 59.9. So we're going to click on this one and then go down to Customize Template. This is very important. Now, this is where you can rename it. So if you wanted to do like TikTok, that's, uh, this is where you do that. And then you want to go down to Include Video, obviously. Have that checked. Now, Frame Size. We're going to click on this and do Custom. And again, you want to swap these numbers here. You do not want 1920 by 1080. You want 1080 by 1920. So we're going to type in 1080, 1920. So exact opposite. Profile, leave on a main. Frame rate, you can leave the same. Uh, Non-progressive aspect ratio is one. And then you can leave the rest of this the same. You can up this to like 60,000 or 60 million, I should say, if you want. Uh, but honestly, it looks good just the way it is. Again, encoder mode, if you have an, a NVIDIA graphics card, leave it on the NVENC encoder. Otherwise, use the other one. Preset default, VBR. Audio, you can change, but I recommend 192. The rest can all really be the same. The only difference, I would go to your video, video render quality and go to best. So that just makes it so it'll, it'll look the absolute best. It might be a tiny bit slower in rendering, but overall, it'll look the best. And then when you're done, hit the little save template button up here. I'm not going to do that because I already have it made. And then once you get that made, uh, go down and you can name it to whatever you want. TikTok file or whatever, again, that you need to do. You can browse where you want to save on your computer. And then when you found an area you want to save, just hit save. And then hit render. And you are good to go. That is essentially how to create and render a full video for TikTok to be uploaded right to the app. Easy, shareable, and it looks good. Very good quality. So if you have any other questions or anything that I may have not talked about in this video and you have a specific question relating to TikTok through Vegas Pro 17, please let me know in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, share your support as always. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And make sure to hit that little notification bell so you're notified whenever I do upload. Hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.